We definitely have opportunities with our partner to learn what our problems are and what our issues are. Because I guarantee you that uh, in relationships, the other person is definitely going to trigger you and kind of what you've been um, experiencing all your life. Your partner is going to show you exactly what is there. And what I mean by that is we'll just take an individual and the person that um, you have your life, you're living your life, you have all your experiences, your traumas, your events, your stories, everything that's taken place, and you get together with another person. And that person has all of their stories, their events, their, their, their traumas, whatever's happened in their life. And you bring two people together that have completely different backgrounds, and you try to make what we call a relationship. And the reason why a lot of relationships don't work over a long period of time is because a person will say, you know what, you're doing this, I'm done, I'm, I'm over and I'm leaving. And what you'll find is that less and less people are staying together in relationships because the main reason, I believe, is that they don't know how to, to fix the problems. And it doesn't mean that the problems are unfixable, it just means that you're not aware of how to do it. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing in the Worldwide Transformational Summit. We, we are bringing ways for you to have fantastic relationships with not only uh, yourself first and then with other people. But let's talk today about your partner. So I'm sure if you're in a relationship with somebody or have been in the past, there have been problems that have, ar have arisen. Hello. Um, but there's going to be a lot. That's just normal relationships. The really, I guess the question is, is how bad? do you want to make the relationship work and how bad does the other person because it, it's all doable you can definitely work out the problems of whatever they are um, hello but what we're trying to do here is to realize what we have inside of us that's getting triggered by the other person so I'm, I'm sure many of you are aware, and I'm just going to share this point with you about uh, the book, The Five Love Languages. And what he teaches is really, really profound because it makes so much sense. It's like if, you're, if your love language is, if you show me you love me, it's by either, you know, verbal, physical touch, whatever it is. But then if your partner's, ver, you know, love language is service in this case, Let's see, can you move the, the camera down a bit? Sure. Uh, let's see. Okay, does that work? Okay, sorry, it's a little dark. I thought, I, I'm getting, I'm still working on the lighting of all this. Um, so thank you for sharing that. But anyway, so if we have five different love languages, that's what he talks about. And one can be service. Like if you, if you're the kind of person that says, if you love me, you'll show me by service, and your partner is, is a verbal love language saying I love you all the time. And if you put these two people together, it's like speaking German and French. You're not, you're not communicating. It doesn't mean that you don't love each other. It just means that the way that you're communicating is not being received by the other person. So if you have a partner who, in this case, uh, want service and they know they're loved by you through that then you're going to have to learn how to do service for that person now if your partner is a verbal of affirmations then the other person might not be feel comfortable with it but you're going to have to learn how to speak affirmations to your partner and this way what happens is when you when you are speaking the same kind of language then each of you can feel loved so it's so often it says, well, I love him. I, let's see, how do my husband stop playing so many, oh, <laughs> so many video games. Okay, so uh, there was a question that was asked, um, how many, um, how can I get my husband to stop playing games? Okay, so sometimes what happens in a relationship is there's stuff that is between both of you. And the person might just go ahead and look for a different way to handle the problem instead of dealing with what's going on. So, so video games can definitely be a way, um, you know, in an extreme case, people can, you know, go out with a, have an affair because they don't want to deal with what's going on in their life. So they pick somebody else because they think it will be better. And there's been so many cases where you uh, people have 
thought, you know, if I'll, I'm done with this relationship. I don't like what you're doing. So I'm going to go find another person. And when they go find that other person, they realize that that person is pretty much the same person that they have in the past. And so if you want to have a great relationship, you got to deal with what's inside of you because you, if you do not, you're going to continue to ch keep the same problems and the same patterns uh, going forward with anybody you're with. And so you can say, well, this person, uh, you know, he does this, this, and this, and that, that can be true, but I guarantee you, he's also triggering something inside of you that yes, I am married, uh, for 31 years. Um, but so believe me, I know after being married for 31 years, um, you know, it's hard, it's hard work, but we've also done a lot of work on ourselves. And so to answer that question, I could also just share a little bit of my story. Um, so I had a lot of trauma in my past and my husband's relationship with his family was, was pretty bad too. So here we have, we're two people, hello, that get together and they have all of these relationships okay they have all this all this baggage when they come into the marriage so we have two people that has all this baggage and you're trying to make a marriage well of course our love languages are totally different from one another and our experiences and so he can say something I'm talking about like in the past we've learned a lot since then but he would say something get me triggered and then I would get all upset and say oh you're this and this you're that you know you're doing this and I'd blame him for everything. And then he would do the same thing with me. He'd blame me for everything. Well, then we started to get into counseling. We started to go work on ourselves and get, uh, in the beginning it was talk therapy, but what I do, what, and this is what I'm doing with the World Summit, is, is there's 19 different speakers who are gonna be teaching us ways that we can work on ourselves so that we can have better relationships. And um, it's a free online webinar so you guys can go. Um, at www.summon.com. But what I wanted to talk to you about the marriage is this is the interesting thing that took place with me is I uh, started working on myself and I started clearing up my stuff, okay, my traumas, my past, my issues with my family. And what happened is all of a sudden my husband started looking pretty darn good. And what I realized is, is, Maybe there were things that he did do, but more than not, he was triggering my issues from my past that he had nothing to do with, but he was triggering me. And then I, and then I would just go in this little spiral of, you know, getting angry and getting upset. And, and that's what happens. And most people don't really realize that in a relationship, um, that's what really happens is, is it's, not so much what they're doing, but it's what's being triggered inside of our own issues. And because we have our own issues, we are the ones that need to address them. We are the one that needs to clean them up. And then what happens, and, it, and the partner that you have doesn't have to do anything, I can tell you from my own experience, even though he did do stuff to help him, hello. Um, help himself is when I started cleaning up my own issues and started changing things, uh, our relationship just started getting really good. And the reason it got really good is because he wasn't triggering me all the time because I didn't have that stuff inside of me anymore. And a lot of people are saying, well, well, how can you do that? You know, how do you get rid of your stuff? Or I've been in therapy and, and this has happened. And, and, um, What's, what I want to tell you is, is that our subconscious mind is a, basically it is a recorder of our whole entire life since we were born. I think it's in the womb, but so every event that took place in your life is something that has, that your mind has recorded the sounds, the, everything about it. And it's just recorded everything that's happened to you. And you have learned your beliefs and your patterns. And so let's say that you saw mom and dad have this really bad relationship, okay, where they fought all the time. Okay, so you don't want to be a part of that, that relationship, because like you might say, you know what, you're either going to do two things, well, three things really. One, you're going to say, I'm never going to have a relationship with that, and you refuse to get into a relationship. You say on one hand that you want a relationship, but your subconscious mind is basically saying, I absolutely do not want a relationship. So you don't get in, into one. 
Okay, number two, you could actually go in and you could say, you know what, I'm gonna work on myself so that I can have a good relationship. I'm tired of the same patterns. I don't want to keep having relationship after relationship with the same stuff in it. And until you clean up what's inside of your mind, not the person, but your mind, you are not going to break that pattern. So you can go through 15 different relationships and have the same relationship over and over and over. And the reason is, is because of what you're holding in your mind because of what your history is, what you saw in relationships, the beliefs you made about relationships. You know, if you saw mom and dad fight all the time, you're not gonna wanna get in one. Or you'll get in the same kind of relationship where you're fighting all the time with your spouse because that's what you've seen done. That's what you know to be true. And if you don't do something inside of you, it's not gonna change. And, and the thing is, is that one of the reasons I'm so passionate about helping people is that I want, I want people to take responsibility of, of if you want a great relationship, then get go inside of you and start healing you and letting go of the painful stuff that you're holding on to. Because when you heal you, you're not just healing you, you are healing the next generation of children so that they don't have to be raised in a home that you didn't like. So most of us have, you know, some of us are very blessed to have families that, you know, were great parents and, and they didn't fight and they loved them and that kind of thing. But more so, there's probably a lot of people that don't have that kind of uh, example. And I personally am one of those that I didn't have an example of good parents. And uh, so I didn't know how to do a marriage. I had to, I had to go learn how to do things. So I didn't just sit back and say, oh, well, this is how you do it. You know, I knew I didn't want that kind of relationship. I did not want to teach my children that kind of relationship. And in the beginning, unfortunately, they did see some of the, the fighting and the same things that I was, that I saw. But at the same time, their whole life, they saw mom and dad work on themselves and get better and better and better re releasing their issues. So if you want to teach your children, you know, to have a great relationship, then, then it starts with you. And um, if you're in a relationship with, a, with someone who you feel like, you know, I'm just so done, I'm tired of it. And there might be very value, you know, valid reasons that you don't want to stay in the relationship. And maybe, maybe that is the best thing. But I would challenge you before you make a decision, I mean, if, if you're being abused in any way, of course you have to leave. But um, if you are in a relationship and you're, you're fed up, you're tired, you're sick of whatever in the relationship, I'm gonna give you a challenge to start working on you. And when you work inside, when you work on you, you can actually start to change things in your life. Now, it doesn't mean to say that you will find that after you work on you, you may not want that relationship. You might feel like this is not right for me. But I think it all begins with trying to heal ourselves. I don't know if, if any of you are into like the healing, uh, alternative healing, but we, so we're doing a worldwide summit that's a free online webinar. And these speakers who are gonna be teaching, um, they're, they're teaching alternative ways that you can address issues and really actually release the pain of what you've experienced or any kind of events, you can actually change change that by changing your mind of how you hold it inside. And um, so the, the thing that came up to me, it was about like September of last year, and uh, I was just impressed to pull this together for everybody. Um, the free summit is at WWT, as in Tom, summit.com. Uh, we have a whole bunch of blogs there that are talking about the different, you know, different issues in life. We're not just talking about relationships. We'll be talking about abuse, trauma, PTSD, stress, money issues. Uh, we have a lot of blogs and the, t the people were also on there as well. And um, we also have a whole bunch of information uh, not only on the website, it is free, so it's a free online re registration from in the, the summit is July 8th through the 16th. And we have 19 different ways that you can address what's going on in you. I tell people that if you have a problem and you really are sincerely wanting help with it, I would like to encourage you to go to the summit with the problem in mind, 
And every time, yes, every time you hear the speaker, um, you say, this is the problem I have. Let's just say it's relationships. And I have a problem with my, you know, relationship. And I want to know what to do, to, how to get better. And the thing is, is that there's going to be 19 different people telling you, showing you different ways. And you can find what, what works for you. Um, the whole purpose of this summit was because all of us are so different and not one way works for everyone but there's so many different ways we can improve ourselves and to have hope that things can change and it doesn't matter you know what kind of relationship you you're having if you really want change and you really want help and you really want a loving kind relationship then there's there's a way to really do that and I just I hope that um, and you know I have to say this too yeah, I unfortunately the people that that don't want to hear this just leave because there's so many other places you can be, and the people that really do want to know and how how to help themselves with relationships, you know, go ahead and listen. Uh, the other people just leave. You don't need to be here. Um, you can find other places to use those different languages that you're using. Um, okay, so I, I guess the best thing is I can do is talk about from my own experience because I'm not just saying there's hope and you can change and not really been through that myself. Um, as, as being married for 31 years, you experience a whole bunch of different things. And of course, there's a lot of things that, um, there were times that I wanted to leave. There were times he wanted to leave. There's times that it was just really super hard and we wanted to just give up. But somehow, some way, we just kept doing something to make it better and we didn't just stay and sit in the problem so if you want to change a problem you've got to do something about it you can't just stay with it and pretend it doesn't exist because what happens when you when you pretend that there's not a problem in the relationship there's going to be several things that are going to take place you're going to find different ways to fill that hole inside where that can come up with addictions um, that, that can come up with, um, with, with affairs. Um, you know, there can be a lot of anger that builds up with relationships, especially if it's a long time relationship and the, uh, issues are addressed with or are not addressed. What happens is you will, I don't know if you've ever met some, you probably have, or maybe it's even in your own life where you have, where you've seen a couple and they haven't really dealt with as time went on, different things that happened, like things that made them angry, and they begin to have this resentment. And this resentment becomes, you know, it becomes this thing in your marriage that you don't want to talk about, you don't want to address, but but you're addressing it passively, aggressively. You don't talk to one another. Um, you don't even spend any time with each other. And when you do talk to each other, it's bitter, it's rude. Um, it's comments that just are more hurtful and it builds a bigger wall between you and then that's often what happens is that people get divorced or they separate in whatever uh, whatever relationship you have they go their separate ways but if you want a healthy relationship there's there's something that I'm going to share with you that somebody shared with me a long time ago and it has proven to be true they said if you are in a relationship and you continue to grow on yourself if you continue to work on yourself you will not be the same person that you started with with the other person and because both of you are working on yourself and you become better you become different you change that you'll never be bored with each other because you're continually growing and changing you're not the same person you're always changing and growing and so you're interesting to each other um, it's kind of nice you know because like wow you've really grown and changed I don't even you, you know you're so different and you're interesting and you're exciting and it's fun and that's how you have a happy relationship is that you guys continue to work with one another uh, you know work on yourselves and talk about the problems as they come up because if you stuff them and I guarantee you it's going to grow 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 into great resentments anger and hatred well we only have okay so somebody asked what should we do if we were only having sex like one time a month um basically then then you know see what the problem is there's obviously something going on that if you're not wanting to have sex more than uh, that so 
I guess my question would be, are you addressing what's going on in your marriage? You know, the things that you don't like, the resentments. Are you on the same page with the love language of your partner? And again, if, if some of those, some of you have missed that, what I'm talking about here is it's a, it's a great book and I highly recommend everybody, if you're in a relationship, getting it. It's called The Five Love Languages. And if you do not understand the love language of your partner, you can be thinking you're loving them and, and saying like, oh, I love you, I love you, because that's your love language, which is, which is verbal affirmations. But if their love language is physical, and you're not giving them physical, then they think you don't love them. And just like the person who's physical, and they don't, they're not verbal, and they keep trying to show the verbal person physical, thinking they are loving them, then there's a problem because each person is not getting in this book what they call their love tank filled. And because they speak different languages, it's like German and French. And if you don't learn how to speak your partner's love language, the other person thinks they're not being loved. And it doesn't mean that the person doesn't, they don't love each other. It's just that they're not on the same communication uh, language of love. Highly recommend it. It's a short book. It'll totally change your, your relationship around. Um, but there's also, hello, um, there's also, you know, another aspect of that. And that's really why I'm here today is because you know we have relationships and we have problems because we have our own baggage when we come into a relationship and sometimes i've seen relationships where people who you know they get in a relationship and they they're so much in love and it's so fantastic and then when that wears off they think they don't they don't there's nothing left in the relationship well that's in this book what he talks about is when we first meet somebody, we're in this lust and it's exciting and it's fun. And then we get down to reality where it's just you're you and I'm me. And maybe sometimes we're not that excited about that. So that's where we need to look at healing some of our stuff in ourselves and speaking the same love language. Because, let's see, date where you girl. I, I can't, I, sorry, you might have to reprint that. Um, so we, if we really want a, a, a happy relationship, I'm, I, I mean, no relationship's perfect and you are going to have unhappy stuff. You're going to have good stuff. You're going to have it all. But the thing is, I guess the question is, are you willing to put the time and the effort in to make the relationship work? If you really sincerely want your relationship to work, but you don't know how, and so many of us don't know how, I mean, because we all want a good relationship, is is do, do share with your friends this book, but not only that, is learn how to work with what has happened in your life. All of the stuff that you've been holding on to, you know, the resentments, the anger, the unaddressed stuff from your history. And when you do that, you change as a person and the way that you respond to your spouse will be completely different. And because you, well, I'm sorry, partner, it doesn't have to be a spouse. And if you, because you're responding differently to that person, they're going to start responding back to you. And I've seen that a million times in my own relationship, even with my children, because I really worked with me and healing me. My relationships got better. Now, some of the, I'm giving a free uh, seminar away from one of the speakers. Uh, his name is Robert Smith, and he is the founder of Fastery of Tea. This is a modality that is excellent on uh, helping people address their relationship problems. All you have to do is register before Friday, and then Saturday we're picking a person to win. He's giving a free weekend um, at any of his seminars all over the world. So wherever you want to go, he'll he'll let, he'll honor that. Uh, well, he, he is coming to Vegas, but I, I'm not sure when. It'll probably be more towards the end of the year. But he has he has uh, seminars all over the world, so I'm sure he can catch you guys somewhere. But he'll be giving that away, and uh, we have several of his he's going to give away. And Robert Smith with Fast Street of Tea um, teaches how to go into what we're holding inside of our mind and change it. And when we change it, we begin to have great relationships. Um, he's actually even going to be doing a seminar. I'm not sure where it is on relationships. I think he already did it, or it's in Maybe it's in May. I'm not really sure. Uh, but you can check him out too at fastoryoftea.com. 
So I will definitely, definitely give that away. But if you're interested, definitely check our website out because there's a lot of people that will be helping uh, give you different, they're called, I, if you're familiar, you'll understand. If you're not, you, you might not. So let me explain that for those who don't. Um, we will be speaking from a point of view that the founders that are from all over the world have either developed a um, actual healing modality that's helped thousands of people all, all over the world and um, they will be teaching their modality and in this it's a it's an hour-long interview for each of them and what they're doing is they're going to discuss the modality how it can help people and then they're going to give a demonstration at the end of it so you can do it at home and, and help yourself with it um, Again, that's at wwtsummit.com, which stands for the Worldwide Transformational Summit. Um, you can. We also have a YouTube channel um, that you can just check that out too. But we have blogs that can help you. We, we have uh, emails we're sending out to help you just understand things. And then we are going to be giving away one or two different things every week that will uh, the presenters have given so that people can uh, go to whatever they've got going on. So I hope that will help a lot of you. Um, I have... Uh, can you explain the details of the giveaway again, please? Okay, uh, so the the giveaway, basically all you have to do is go to wwtsummit.com and register. So it's a free online webinar that will be held July 8th through the 16th. There'll be two speakers a day and you'll have 24 hours to listen to them each day. It is a pre-recorded summit. So what that means is, is that at, when it gets close to the time, we'll send you a link that you will click and then you will have access to the summit for like day eight, uh, excuse me, day first, day one. Uh, okay, I'll answer that in a second. So, so you can go there and then you have the 24 hours to listen to it. And then, then day two will be another two speakers and you'll have 24 hours to listen to that. And then if you've missed some or you heard them, but you'd like to keep listening to it over again, we will have a download, um, that you can buy, but we're not actually, but it's still a free webinar and you don't have to buy it, but it's just available for people who are busy. Um, and so somebody asked how long have I been married? I've been married 31 years. Um, so that's, it has been a long time, <laughs> but you know, I'm going to say this for some of you who didn't hear it. I'm going to share it one more time. Um, this advice was given to me and, and it was, it's been the best advice ever. Do you mean to share to enter the giveaway? You said that you, okay. Um, so the advice that was given to me was if you will continue to always work on yourself, you will continue to grow and, and you will never be the same person you started with your partner. And if both of you will continue to grow and work on yourself, you will continue to grow and change and you'll never be bored with each other because you're always changing. And I can say, I mean, when I was told that it was probably in 1992. And so that's a long time ago. And what I can tell you, that has been 100% true. Um, because my husband and I have worked on ourselves. He works on himself in a different way than I do, and that's fine. But he has been doing it, and thanks for all the hearts. Um, I, I've been doing it, and he has been doing it. And I, I can guarantee you, I am definitely not the same person married, and he, he is not the same person I married. And I'm so grateful for that, because he has gotten better and better and better, and so have I. And... I mean, let's face it, if they're, if you've been married for 31 years and you can still think your husband's sexy and it's exciting and it's fun to be with him, I'd say that's something. And the only reason I can honestly say that I have that is because I've worked like, I've worked really super hard on myself. And um, I am a life coach and I do help a lot of people overcome different problems in their life. If you want to check me out, you can at lauraworley.net. It's L-A-U-R-A-W-O-R. Ley.net, and uh, you can. I, I help a lot of people with problems mainly because I feel I have been blessed to overcome so much of my own past, and so much of uh, and so many different problems. Is you know, and and I can say that my life has gotten better and better and better. And 
probably, I would say probably in the last five years because I, I was working with a, a modality called Fast EFT and EFT. Um, my life really started to change in huge ways that I never dreamed possible. I mean, I've had things happen in my life that have created the most amazing dreams, really. Things that I didn't even know for sure that I even wanted. And they just, they just started coming and, and gave me so many wonderful opportunities. And, um, for that, that's why I'm passionate because I want people to have hope in their own life and I want people to find that there is good possibilities uh, to change your life and to have a fantastic life of what you dreamed you'd love to do, but you, you might have that voice in your head that says, I can't have that, I don't deserve that, I'm never going to get that. Or you've even had people tell you, oh, don't do that, you can't do it, you're never going to do it, get your head out of the clouds. And I want you to tell, I want to say that's all BS um, because you can live your dreams. You can have amazing things happen and you can have an amazing relationship, but it does take work and it takes honesty and it does take, you know, um, it takes hard work on working on yourself. And when you work on yourself, you will stop doing the same patterns over and over. And if you do decide to split up for whatever reason, work on yourself so you don't find somebody with the same patterns and then you'll have the same thing happen over and over. So make sure that that you do do that I think that's about all I'm going to share today I'll share again um, if you're interested in listening to people who've been help, helping people from all over the world um, and if you have a specific problem you'd like to have help with go to the summit with that in mind and listen to each speaker and see how that can answer the problem that you're having um, it's www.summit.com which stands for the worldwide transformational summit um, it's a free registration and it's a free seminar that will be held July 8th through the 16th, but we are giving a free giveaway. We're going to be doing several, but this week, um, if it's up, it's through Friday. If you register this Friday, we're, what we're giving away is one weekend, uh, seminar at, for Robert Smith at Fast of Tea. You can use this uh, seminar weekend anywhere in the world that he, he will be at. So you would just, we'll contact you and you can let us know which one you want to attend. And you don't have to do it right away either. It, it's good for at least a year. So um, I hope that helps. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Let's see. Um, okay, I think, I'm sorry it went so quick and I should have my glasses to read that a little bit, but it said I will never have a really, I think it said this, and I, I'm just going to repeat it, that, um, I'm never going to have a relationship because I don't want knives in my back. So the way that I would take that is, is the example of whatever happened and you making a decision that you're, you're never going to have that again. And I totally understand that. But I'd also like to invite you to think about maybe working on what has happened inside of you and clearing that and changing it. And what I mean by that is there's many modalities that you literally can take whatever's happened, even if it's been most of your life. You can take all those events, those relationships, the bad ones, and you can let release the pain by these healing modalities. And then when you do that, um, you start to see things different and you get a different perspective on life. And that's maybe where you could have a good relationship. If you wanted one, you may not want one, but at the same time, there's two things to that. One, if you clarify your stuff and you still don't want a relationship, then that's being healthy. The other one is if you're choosing that because of all your pain and hurts. And that's what I, that's the reason why I'm sharing this is that you don't have to have all that pain and hurt. You don't have to carry around all the pain and hurt. So, um, you have, a, there is a way to release it, literally letting it go, not just talking about it, but letting it go. I find a problem. Can I ask you about it? Yes. Is the main attraction looks, I'm not sure what that means, but whatever. Okay. So, uh, if there's any other question, I mean, if you have a question, please ask me right now. Otherwise I'm going to go ahead and end it. I'm, I'm going to be doing this twice a week of Tuesdays at noon. Pacific Standard Time, and at 7 o'clock on uh, Thursdays, p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I will, let's see, let's see, I'm sorry, which I, I should have brought my glasses. I couldn't read 
it again. I'm so sorry. Uh, Lifeline. Well, yeah, probably. I mean, let's face it. The first uh, first thing that attracts uh, attracts us to somebody is their looks. And then when we get to know them, maybe we might feel more attracted to them. Um, but yeah, that's true. Somebody just said that. Um, I would say we're definitely attracted by looks. Somebody just said all the girls seem to be like the bad boy rather than a gentleman. Well, then I, I would say that would be crazy because a gentleman is so hard to find. So you keep being a gentleman and you'll find the right one that wants one. But what do you like? I'm sorry. So some of it I can't read. It's going too fast and I'm trying to see without glasses. <laughs> That's kind of a hard thing. Um, but anyway, I'll see you on Thursday, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we're going to talk on different topics. Um, it's going to be all kinds of different topics. So, um, so be sure to attend. Then this lady just wrote something, and I'm or whoever it was. I want you to definitely go to Worldwide transformationalsummit.com and register because you know th I think the reason that I'm doing this is um, so many people are hurting and so many people are in pain and so many people do not know where to go to get help and to change their life and this is why I'm doing this summit is because you can find answers to help you live a fantastic life and that's really really what I want is I want every single one of you to feel that you can you have power and control of your own life and you can release your pain and hurt of the past I mean let's face it no one's ever been meant to have stuff that happened in the past um, rule our life for the rest of our life you deserve to have a happy wonderful life whatever you choose that to be and the whole point is when you let go of what's happened in the past you can you truly can have a great relationship with somebody and that's really the whole point and so if you want if you want to have a, a different way of meeting people Well, I guess somebody said, do you want to put so much into a commitment in a relationship early on? That's up to you, really. I mean, that's really up to whoever, whatever you want in your life, I guess. Thank you. Um, I think if, we, if you want a, a loving, lasting relationship, I just want you to know that it's possible. And let's see, how can I do if my love asks me to don't live my dreams? Oh. Well, how can I do if my love asks me not to live my dreams? Well, that's a tough one because then you're not being true to yourself. And when you're not true to yourself in a relationship, uh, 18 to 20 is a little young to be in a full committed relationship, but that's up to you guys. Um, that's just my thoughts. I think you're, too, you know, you're not quite ready for all that, but one thing that I see and you know, I, I I'm gonna talk about this in a whole different segment and I probably could follow up on Thursday in relationships that maybe are controlling like if you're in a relationship and it's controlling and kind of abusive and maybe verbally emotionally and You've learned to just shut down and, and live not live your dreams anymore um, That that's a whole different topic and we'll talk about that um, but that's 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 a really tough place to be and and that's where if you start to work on yourself and clear out your own stuff you'll probably find that you'll um, a couple things will, will happen is that you will find the power within you to say that's enough I'm not gonna do this anymore I won't let anybody treat me that way or things will get better and so but it always again starts with working with yourself cleaning up your own issues and then things change in your life and there truly may be a point where you might say you know when you get so healthy and feel your power back and feel really good about who you are you will not allow people to treat you in a negative harmful way and sometimes relationships are built on uh, uh, this negative connection and it's an maybe even abusive connection and if that's the case then it's probably best to um to to look you know look at changing that either trying to work on it getting better 
Okay, so somebody said how important is sex life? And you know, I'm going to I'm going to say from everything that I know, um sex life is very very important to relationship because in in a uh, with your partner because it's a way that you're that you connect. It's kind of like a body mind soul connection. And if you don't have that, something happens. I don't know how to explain it. I'm sure some of the professionals um, in this area could, but there's something that happens when you do have sex with your partner and it's like this connection at every level. And it, that's really what being with somebody is about in, in an emotional way, not a physical way. Cause you can have a physical with anybody. Let's see. Oh, okay. Um, Somebody was saying they, they can't satisfy their partner. Uh, you may want to get some professional help on that to talk and or see if each of you can talk about what you would like to have happen in the relationship in that way. Some of it is learn like again, it goes back to the love language. You're gonna have to see what love language, so to speak, is your partner's so that they feel fulfilled. You might do might be doing what you think is what you enjoy and thinking they enjoy that, but that may not be the case at all. So anyway, I'm I'm just trying to help people and and while I realize there are some people that just need to be negative, that's fine. But I would just prefer that you don't show up on my Periscope. You can go lots of places and say negative things. And if you don't like what I'm saying, just go ahead. That's leaving. Um, I'm just trying to help people in a way that you can have a better life. And that's my passion. And that's my heart. And that's my sole purpose. Um, so thanks for all the amazing comments. We've had so many. So thank you. Thanks for everybody that showed up. And um, so there's a lot of things that basically, you know, I'll end with this one thought. If you're having problems in your relationship, consider that maybe you're also not speaking the love language of your partner. And there is where there can be a breakdown. There can also be emotional issues that need to be addressed. If you've been together for a long time, there can be a lot of anger and resentment that has built up over years if you haven't talked about it. So go ahead and see if you can work on some of those things. Again, show up at the Worldwide Transformational Summit and there will be so much good information. And if you go there right now, each one has, uh, each presenter has a bio and a website. And if you have questions, you might want to check them out or you may even want to seek out a practitioner under each one of them that um, and, and find help right now. And you're more than welcome to do that. Um, so thank you so much and be sure to register by Friday and we're going to give away a free seminar to Robert Smith, Fastery of Tea. And we will be giving away a lot of amazing uh, gifts from the, the presenters of the Worldwide Summit. Okay, so uh, thank you so much, guys. And I'm going to figure out how to shut this down one time.